Welcome back to Too Many Opinions Podcast. This is Sarah. This is Jeannie. Oh, Jeannie, feel like it's been forever, girl. What's been going on? Girl, first of all, <laughs> again with the Sahara Desert, it is so hot in this room, guys. Please. We're glistening. Listen, if you guys want to donate, contribute so we can get a bigger, better studio, like we're all for that. So you uh, guys don't understand the half. We'll right cash now. app. We'll tag our cash app. And we literally do it for them because right now we would have the AC black. The, the AC has to be off because you could clearly hear it in the background. So it's yeah. so annoying. But anyway, we're here and that's what's important. Amen. So my week was hectic, but very fun. Okay, give us an update. How did the parties go? I know that you told us last time. I think yes. you had a gender reveal and, I did. and a, a friend's birthday. And a friend's birthday. Okay, how what? So how Saturday, were they? the friend's birthday was cool. I just really came um, into the conclusion that I cannot drink alcohol if it has sugar. And then the problem is that I can't drink alcohol if it's not sweet because then it's nasty. nasty. Nice. So what does that say? I probably can't drink like that no more. Unless it's like a real special occasion, I'm not. It's just not worth it. It's not. Welcome to the club, girl. It's, it's Welcome guys to the club. don't turn 30 because after you hit 30, life moves life comes fast okay fast or even slow sometimes because <laughs> damn and then the gender reveal was crazy i um i wanted to reveal it in a in a different way and the le- the theme was lemons and i had um i had ordered a lemon piñata oh, amazon first of all amazon has been super unreliable lately they really have though like they say two days and you get it in a week it's freaking disgusting so i order it and it says it's going to come in on time it says then I check it on it again, and it said it can't come until Monday. And I'm like, I'm Amazon? not. I'm an extra ass girl. Like my friends expect <laughs> me to do something crazy. So you're not lying. So I was like, it was twelve o'clock midnight, and I'm like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I made the goddamn pinata myself. I went on TikTok. Shut How do you make a pinata? You did the paper mache? No, I just cut up cardboard. I used the cricket, and I made the damn lemon happen. So then I'm Perfect. like. Let's hope that it works. So my vision was for them to light it and the smoke to come out through the lemon and it worked perfectly and it was just a success. So I'm glad that went good. So. Okay, well, tell the people, was it a girl or a boy? It was a girl and they were very excited. The dad had a dream that he was going to have a girl. Like he said that he turned around and he saw his girlfriend and like a little girl running after him and he's like, it's a girl. I, li- I, I literally just got goosebumps. Yes. Oh my God. And the grandma had visited him in a dream a few years back and told him, you're going to have a girl and you're going to name her this. And he tatted the name so he would never forget it. And that's... Oh, my God. I just got the goosebumps. Crazy. Twice. It was so cute. It was so cute. Oh I my cried. God. Well, congratulations. I would say that. Yes. Name, congratulations to Haley and Randy. So. Congratulations, Haley and Randy. If you yes. tune in, that is so amazing. <laughs> you guys are, you have no idea what you're in for. It's about to be, like, literally life-changing. So exciting. So, everybody, congratulate them. That's amazing. Yes, Welcome to the new bundle cute. of joy. And how was your week? Girl, I was in Canada. How was Canada? How's the food? Can the food is literally amazing. Uh, I was it was basically like this huge family reunion. Um, everybody was there. It was so good. We all got along. I'm gonna definitely get into some more of the other details about the you know the tea. <laughs> We're gonna spill all the tea in the next episode too. But it was so much fun. I just got back yesterday, um, and wow, back to reality work. Mom, that's what's like, about vacations, bro. You need you, a vacation from the vacation. Yeah, dead ass. Like, like what the fuck? Oh All right. <laughs> so yeah, but and the mic said no. I'm it's hot. A, Please, not today. So I'm glad that that went well. We're gonna you, we're gonna get into your vacation in the next episode. Yeah, absolutely. So but that, that has to do with that. Okay, before we even get into like that vacation, can we just talk about people who have no flying etiquette? I'm talking about the people who be, buy the tickets at the back of the plane. And then, guys, if you're any of these motherfuckers, I'm looking at all the cameras right now, okay? <laughs> if you're one of those people who buys the ticket all the way at the back and tries to push themselves to the front of the plane when they land, you guys should just be, like, lined up and fucking spanked right in the ass. Like, you have no airplane etiquette. Like, if you want to get off on the beginning of the plane, you should buy first-class tickets to get off first. And it's just common sense. It goes like this. Bingo. Just like when traffic merges. I right? don't even get up. I just be like, I'm going to wait. You see what I'm I saying? I only get up when I feel like, what the fuck is hold? Like, what's the hold up? And yeah. I be like this, like, let's go, people. Yeah. But wow, I could not believe that. Like, literally trying to gr- step three three rows in front of them to grab their luggage and cut everybody else. You know, though, sometimes, though, um, it's because they have connecting flights and they got to go. I feel you. But baby girl or guy, buy the front <laughs> ticket so you can go. That's not our problem. You got to wait. Yeah. And my thing is, it's like, it's old people. There was a disabled lady. And she was trying to get her the disabled daughter out of the seat. And this guy's like, oh, hurry up. And I'm like, excuse oh, hell me, no. sir. Oh, hell no. I said, excuse me. I said, I don't know where your etiquette is today, but you're going to wait until it's your turn. I'm like, mom, go ahead. And the lady's like looking at me. I'm like, no, miss, take your time. 
you're gonna go first with your daughter and then I'm gonna go. So I'm standing right in the middle. You know waiting. Me, right? I was waiting. I was just standing there like a whole barricade. Like you're not gonna go around me. <laughs> oh my Absolutely God. not. Okay, anyways. I just had to get that off. Somebody my just chest. got a uh, uh, speaking about airplanes and etiquette. Somebody just got a heart attack on on JetBlue going to DR because let me tell you something. There's not a nationality that hates flying um, like the like the flying situation more than Dominicans and Dominicans. <laughs> if you don't get them to DR quickly, they're gonna have a problem with you. Oh so I don't know. JetBlue has been fucking up with DR flights lately wow. or some shit. Which my point is Dominicans. I get that the flights are a little cheaper on JetBlue, but this is what's going to happen to you each and every time because JetBlue just fucking sucks. Yep. But anyway, um, I guess the guy, they were on the plane waiting and waiting for hours, and the guy ended up getting a heart attack. You see? I mean, I'm not crazy. blaming JetBlue for the heart attack. No, he, of course not, but... He was that, probably agitated, though. Yeah, or anxiety because stress, Shit, you stress, know I would have fucking flipped. Girl, that's what I'm saying. <sighs> and you already know my anxiety. I already told you I have anxiety when it comes to flying. Girl, I... Mm, Crazy. Mm, I feel for him. I'm so sorry. I hope you know if this guy or family watch this. Like I hope we he's hope okay. you're good because that that's crazy and very traumatizing yeah, as well. I wouldn't want to fly again. It makes me laugh though because it's like I feel like Dominicans are all the exact same. So when you see them spazzing, it's like <laughs> I bet you it's because they didn't get to DR on time. But it's insane. So wow, Jesus. Okay. But well, yeah, we're gonna get into today's topic. What do you want to talk about today? T- today I want to talk about again. It's not victim mentality, but more like. People need to learn how to help themselves and be more self-sufficient. Bro. Because it's like, I don't know what era we're moving into in life where people just think that everything has to be done for them. The entitlement? Waiting is crazy. Let me say it again. The entitlement that people have today <laughs> is fucking crazy. What is wrong with these people? Girl, I honestly never really experienced entitlement until now really has there been like something recently that happened that you were like Yo, i need to talk about this like ace or did you see something honestly oh my god and i don't want to offend you because i know you're white it's okay girl you already know wipe yo- all right <laughs> i don't want to be- infect you white people basically <laughs> <laughs> basically what i have to say is this like i always been the type of person that say like i'm not gonna let the product of my environment make me a victim to anything yep. So I'm like, so I'm not going to blame white people for because where they're at in life. And I'm not going to be blaming us for where we're at in life because everyone, whatever, everybody knows what the fuck they're doing. But bro, lately it's like God said, no, I'm going to teach you why people get mad. Okay. The entitlement. It's crazy. Is crazy. Like I can't even bring up a, a certain scenario right now because it's just so much, but I really, especially like at work and, and just like in, in general, like the more that I see it, the more that it's, it's infuriating. You want to, I got an example of entitlement for you. Oh yeah. Give me okay, one. So okay. maybe I can refresh my memory. All right. I'm sitting on the plane on the way home. The gentleman who's sitting on the outside seat. So we're in a three seater. He's in the outside. Then it's um, me and then my mom. So the guy goes in to let my mom go. And then he looks at me and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm the next seat. So I go sit down, whatever. Me and my mom are looking at my TikTok on my phone. If you don't think this man taps me on my shoulder like, oh, you don't think you could put some earphones on? I looked at this man. I said, yeah, when I'm ready, I'm going to put my headphones in. You, you, you enjoy whatever you're doing, sir. Are you fucking crazy? What kind of entitlement do you think that you can just tell me what to do? The plane hasn't landed. Like, the plane hasn't even, Girl. people aren't even on the plane. And you're t- my phone wasn't even loud. Like, me and my mom were just sitting here quiet. You know when you look at someone's phone? Like, yeah, you and you're not going to be ratchet and put that shit all the way oh. up in volume. Tell me to put my, mind you, he didn't even have his headphones in. And he wants to tell me. I looked at him. I gave him the sign, like, yeah, when I'm ready. Like, are you fucking crazy? Honestly, I have a few friends that are very entitled. And it's like, if I say the example, the person's going, no, so I can't. <laughs> but I just look at them like. What? Do you not realize how you're talking to people? Yeah. Like, sucks. you literally, you need to, and I, and, and for, I was going to say, I kind of feel for white people. because not, I'm not saying all white people, people, come on. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying that, but certain folks. YT folks, um, like they talk to you and especially to like, let's say a colored person, like, like you, you got to thread lightly. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. coming from you is going to come, uh, come out, even if you're saying it in a, in a, in a polite way, it's going to come out crazy. Like you don't tell someone like, I don't, I can't say the example guys, but it's just like, I was looking at that person like, yo, another, okay. another thing that, that it was me and my other friend and my other friend that's, you know, um, white. <laughs> Caucasian, I'm sorry, Caucasian, Caucasian <laughs> you know, descent. Um, we were having a, an, an argument, or not an argument, a discussion. A heated a debate. Dis- a, debate. a debate. A heated okay. debate, right? Okay. And when she didn't, we obviously had a point of view, and she had a point of view. 
And when we didn't come, like, with, like, we didn't. She didn't agree. We, we, she didn't agree what we were saying. Mm -hmm. she, it was her turn to talk. Okay. But then mm. we need to. We needed to. We needed to respond after that. She was like, you know what? I don't want to talk about this anymore. Ooh. And it's like, oh, oh. And my other friend was like, oh, well, what, well, I'm not done saying what I gotta say. Period. Just because you're not done talking about what you need to talk about, you that doesn't mean that you're not gonna listen to me. Now, after I'm done talking, then you could decide you don't want to talk about it no more. Then that's fine. But you're gonna hear what the fuck I got to ooh. say. Ooh, it was. Spicy. And I and I looked at that person. And I was like, ooh. But it's usually true. I'm not left with words. I'm right. one that has a, a bit of extra words to say. Right. But I was left like. But you know what? Go for her because it's true. That's like the most disrespectful thing to do is cuts. Try to like end a conversation without having. Oh, that. That the, the, no. Right. That's not gonna happen. That's my gears. So the entitlement. Yes. The entitlement has been beyond lately, and it's not only Caucasians that do it. Uh, there's entitlement in all sorts of ways that you could just feel entitled to just. Oh. I don't know. Like, are you crazy? I got another, I got another entitlement. Oh, give thing. me, give me oh, more. This is a, this is another one in Canada now. Okay, in the gas station, I just cashed out a lottery ticket. I hit forty bucks on a thing. I was Ooh. three numbers from seventy million in Canada. God three damn. numbers, guys. Okay, Jeannie, we would have had a brand new studio if I would have hit the damn. seventy million. Okay, you're <laughs> better than me. I would have been. Like, we would have no studio because I'm not doing shit no more. <laughs> no, we got to put on for our people, but. We're in line. I, I cash out that my cousin's over here. She's cashing out and she's like picking tickets and she's talking to the guy. The woman, a white woman, and I can say that because I'm white, a white woman behind us okay. goes, excuse me, ladies, I really have to hop on the highway to go to Toronto. Can I just pay for my gas? She interrupted my cousin so that way she could ask her to cut because her time was more valuable than anybody else's in there. Yeah, that's crazy. I looked at her. M mind you, my cousin is the sweetest thing. She is like the nicest. She was, she was there a while. She was going to move? No, she let, she let her go. Girl, my face was like this. You already know I had the wrestling bitch face on. So my cousin says yes, and I'm looking at her like, mm, again, again, side eye. And then she looks at me. She's like, oh, well, that, of course, with your permission. I said, oh, miss, I already paid for my ticket, but you wouldn't have moved me out of the way. Period. And I just said, I didn't move for her. I sat right there. Because if so, you're in a rush, go into another gas station. That's not my problem. You should have left earlier. That's man. what it is. It's like your problems is not mine. I'm so sorry. Uh, and it wasn't even like she was being obnoxious. She was just like, okay, I need this, 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 this. Like, oh, excuse me. Like, I don't care how polite you're being about it. If you wanted to move that fast, you should have paid with your card. You should have done whatever you needed to do or gone to a different gas station. But to think that your entitlement and your time is more valuable than right, unless you blatantly say, "Guys, I have, I'm so sorry, but I have an I have a an medical emergency." emergency I of have course, to... that's yes. different. Yes. But, oh, you gotta get on the highway. But because what? Well, what do you think this is? You gotta get. Okay, though. Let me roll out the fucking carpet for you, miss. Come on, come on. Pay for your gas. What else do you need? You want me to go pump it for you while you sit in the car? So yeah, so that's that's how I see the entitlement too, because it's just like, what the people fuck is really wrong think they're better than other people. You shit and you poop and you pee and you do everything the same thing as me. You, you bleed the same color. I don't damn care. Damn well, what. you're gonna die care. just Period. like me. Like, uh, hello. I don't care what your race is, what your color is, whatever. If you cut any of us, we're all bleeding the same color. Period. So Absolutely. anybody's time, everybody, everybody's time and everything should be respected. If it doesn't work for you. That means that you're having an issue that you need to work on, that you need to focus better on either leaving earlier or doing whatever. But that's not everybody else's problem. The world doesn't revolve around you. But honestly, though, it's also people. And I know you're, you said your cousin. Uh, your cousin? My cousin, yeah. Your cousin's sweet and all, but it's people like that that make people Enable. like this. Enablers. I, that's, another, I, that's another episode. Yo, we need to stop enabling people to think shit. It's, I, it's, not, it's not. Yo, honestly, I'm going to tell you right now. She said, I gotta Don't come, come in contact with me because I'm not letting shit slide no more. Period. I'm yeah. not going to let my time slide no more. What the fuck? I want to do slide no more. Nothing's going to slide. If I don't want to do something, if I don't want to move, if I don't want to let you cut, I'm not letting you do nothing. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't come to me. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not going to be the one. Same. I'm same. not going to be the I one. I looked at my cousin. I'm like, I, I would have finished what I was doing. I would have said, oh, it'll just be a minute. That's how I would have responded. I would have been rude. I would have just said to her, if, if I was in my cousin's position, I would have said, oh, it'll just be one more minute. Right. Not rude, but I would have told her basically stay stay in line, and you're gonna be okay. Right. Another thing that I feel like we do that just came to my head is that we entitle we let. All right, sorry, we entitle other people to let us trigger them. Meaning, some people know that they can get to you, and so oh, they'll use that against 100%. you. So they feel entitled because they know that you gave you giving them that. You know what I'm saying? 
Well, let me tell you something. No more. I am not, as of what, last week? Let's go. I said, yo, I'm not going to let no one get me mad no more. I'm not doing shit. I'm I'm literally going to do what the fuck I want, and I'm not going to give a fuck. Like, Good you don't understand. That conversation sparked it in me. For and I, real? Absolutely. Last week, I literally, I went to a party. I had the best time. People, Some people were, 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 were faces, or some of the people had drama, and I just, I took my little shot. I sat down, and I just <laughs> didn't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna mind my business that minds me right here. I just I'm and I'm gonna go giving, home. I'm gonna take my power back. Good for you. I absolutely am gonna take I'm my so power happy. back. I'm so happy. I literally, we, I know we spoke about that earlier, but I'm just so happy. Yes. You deserve that. I, and you know what? The fuck I do. You do. Yes, the fuck I do. Everybody deserves to do what the fuck they want. Period. With and no explanation. That's none, another one. I'm about to tell you why or why not. I'm just not gonna That's do it. it. That's it. And, and I'm gonna I, be happy. And like I said, it. If you listen to the last episode, we had a like both of our last episodes were super like crazy. They were crazy. They were really like us being vulnerable yeah. right there in camera. Like shit that I never even thought that I would be vulnerable with. Right. Mm -hmm. So it was like to see that and then to hear that like the conversation and like what we talked about. Not only it really like set the tone. You know what I mean? It it's, did. But I, I feel like I've had this conversation so much and it never really sat until like I feel like a, lot, a few people had to tell me the same thing. Like, yo, my boyfriend's one of them. I know I was I need to stop mentioning my boyfriend. He don't pay me. <laughs> but um, he's the first one to say, yo, why are you always doing same things that you don't want to do? And I'm like, just don't know how to like, because it's like when you're a person that does it all, it's hard for you to tell people that you know, like, you could help know. I know. But then it's, it compromises me. It does. And it's that just sucks. about how you say no. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, okay yeah. to say no. It's just how you say it. Yeah. So that's okay. Yeah. And that's good. And I'm proud of you. So everybody, that means we're growing still. And that's it. That's all we can do day in and day out. We just have to look at ourselves in the mirror and be like, okay, these are, I'm going to do better. I'm going to be better. And I'm going to yeah. focus on me. And not only that too, like I completely lost what the fuck I was. <laughs> She's, not only that, but, but I forgot what I was going to say, but I, yeah, it's, it's, it's honestly happiness and health is, and peace is the wave. And that's the, that's really what's the most important thing. Not the money. Not the fame, not the anything else that you get. Like, mm -hmm. r in reality, it's health, peace, and happiness. But only you could do that for yourself. And that goes back to the topic on you need to learn how to help yourself. You need to learn how to put your boundaries. You need to learn how to say no or how to say yes. Yep. You need to learn. It gets up, it's going to be up to you. If you have been diagnosed with something that, that you think, yo, do your research. Or you know what I'm saying? Like, it can't just be like, well, I'm just depressed and... That's it. Yeah, no, you got to be able you to help yourself. Fight. And if you don't have the fight, no one can fight for you. And it doesn't matter that, what it is. That's the key right there. If you don't fight for yourself, there's nobody. Like, all of our friends could come together to try to help one person. And if that person won't fight for themselves. We had to happen. We, we have. Of course we have. We've, we've seen it. We've had that we, happen. We've seen it in real life, right? Where it was basically like a fucking intervention. That Given we're solutions and help. Like, like, let's help you help yourself. And you know what? And it went, offering like, the help. And it went in this year. It went out this year. And the shit continued the same exact way. And I'm no longer also wasting my time with people like oh, that. Oh, absolutely not. I'm, I'm not so wasting sorry. my oxygen. Girl, I'm so sorry. I There's, talk so much. Depression is very real. And I know that sometimes when you're in a hole, you don't really see clearly. But when let me tell you something. When people are pouring into you, you get a little bit of life back. Absolutely. And there's people that I'm so sorry to say, you love being depressed. You love they capitalize being on it. you yes, you love being a victim and you love you love being in that. Granted, there are some depressions that it's hard. Of like course. sometimes you just don't see it. You know what I'm saying? And you're in the the, the slumps. But at what point are you going to help yourself? Yes. I literally have a close friend to me who's like that, and I go periods of time where I have to remove myself because I cannot I can I can't I cannot be associated with it because it's just Especially it, if you're an empath. If you're an I, empath, I, that's that's very, I'm a you gotta problem be careful. Solver, you gotta so be careful. So it drives me effing crazy. Like I will literally give you a million solutions, and you'll just be like, mm, mm, whatever. You know what I mean? Like I'm gonna just and stay then you home. just wasted your time. I wasted my time, my oxygen, my stress. Like I didn't have to look this up for you. And you know what? Another thing is about like the whole topic of entitlement, is that I feel like there's certain people who know. You know how you say like, oh, like if someone comes to you with a problem, they'll just bring it up nonchalantly mm -hmm. and then you'll like automatically jump in and they kind of know that you're like that. So they that's why they come to start the conversation exactly, with you. Yep. I realized that I do that a lot, too. My friend will be like, oh, um, I don't know how to do this. And I'll be sitting here Googling. They're like, oh, are you Googling it? And I I was mid Google and I was like, no. Because 
I had to say no in that moment. So I'm like, see? yo, they really, ex- they knew that I was going to give them the answer. They didn't even put any thought in how to s- and that's find me. The-, the second I can't figure something out, I'm Googling. I'm figuring it out. I'm not going to be like, let me ask. I have, yeah, I have a friend like that too. That it's like, what I got I got to be, I got to thread lightly. <laughs> <laughs> but there's friends that I, you literally like, they need to ask someone else constantly. They can't just do it themselves. Facts. So I was like, I could not believe that my friend, like, she really said to me, oh, you're Googling it, right? Like, how I'm supposed to fix your problem? No, bitch, you better fucking Google it. It's not my problem no. now. You know, another thing, it's just so many things. <laughs> it's all coming back I to have me another, another person that I know. <laughs> they have, okay, <laughs> let me just put it this way. It's not a close person to me. So if you're okay, listening so to this and, and you think it's for you, it's not. It's not a close person to me. But they have to ask their partner for everything. For example, if we have... Wait, time out. <laughs> it's like not... It's Start almost over. like a consulting. Like, for example, if I decide that I want to have a cookout, I usually tell Chris, hey, I'm going to have people over. Okay. So, you know, I give them a heads up. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Courtesy. Courtesy. Right. You don't want them to be walking around bare ass and you have right. everybody coming over. Right. But I'm not about to be like... Is it okay? I'm going to have a cookout. Um, Do you think it's okay if I have a... So when I have friends, I'd be like, I'm going to ask so-and-so. And I'm like, yo, what? You don't have a fucking brain? I'm sorry. Did you come out of his ball bag or your dad's? That shit, yo, that gets me so mad. Like, they literally, and it's crazy because they literally know the answer, but they still need to ask someone for validation. But you know what? I do think that some, because I've, I've just seen TikToks with that, where some people say that because they can't say no on the spot. So then they go to the partner like, oh, da 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 Like, I've seen it in such I did it once, and I did it, like, a month ago, where I told Chris, like, oh, like, oh, you know, I have to ask Chris. And Chris goes, as soon as, and I wasn't expecting Chris to walk through the door right there. And Chris is a person that will never say no to no one. He's, of course, extremely nice and he pisses me off. But he'll be like, oh, yeah, sure. And I'm looking at him like, mm. shut up, bro. No. <laughs> like, no. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Like, you think I was going to ask you? Right, you know oh, I don't what? ask you. You know I don't ask you. You should have caught the fucking hint. But no, he didn't catch it. I'm like, and then he's like, okay, I guess we're doing whatever Fuck. this plan is or whatever. So, yeah, like, I just, I'm not, I'm very independent. Yeah, I agree, though. But in general, like, everybody needs to learn that in life, you have to be able to help yourself. And if you want something, you can absolutely, girl, I was literally thinking the same thing. Like, the sweat is literally pouring <laughs> off me. I'm like, yo, we just need to finish up this episode, We're going to finish it. Sorry, guys. Um, whew, It is fucking hot as a motherfucker. But what you were saying. No, but we just have to, like, really understand, like, anything that you want in life, you can get it. And you just need not to... Be worried about, oh, if I fail or if I do this or I'm scared. Everybody's scared to do everything, right? Like, I, that's the reality of it. You don't succeed in life if you don't take risks or you don't try. Like, you're going to fail. You Everybody fails. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not always going to be, oh, yay, we, we made success. We made You know what I mean? Like, it's not always like that. So I would say drop the entitlement. Focus on yourself. Focus on what makes you happy, your health, your Whatever that is, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Whatever that looks like for you, focus on that. And guys, if you're like, I don't know why this just came to me, but if you're like constantly doing something to like um, hide mask something else, like if you're constantly smoking weed or you're constantly drinking to try to mask something else that you're going through. And trust me, I'm speaking from experience because I've gone through this recently. Look in the mirror and realize that you need to help yourself. And those things, masking it is not going to help you. So say it again for the people that didn't fucking fucking listen. Going through those things and drinking and smoking weed or doing whatever kind of thing that you're doing to mask whatever you're going through is not going to solve your problem. It's not. I'm sorry. And I know it's a tough pill to swallow, but you need to look yourself in the mirror and be like, okay, today's the day that I'm going to change. Yo, get it. You know what? And I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm tired of being polite. You're a fucking coward. Get it the fuck together. Mm, facts. Get it together because we're not, if, all right, if you was in your 20s and you got facts. time. Yo, you're, you're pushing 30, almost damn near, near 40. Get it together, yo. Like, don't you want, I don't know why people don't want to figure out their problems. And figure out their problems, help themselves. They just want to just soak in their misery all day. Yo, figure it out. Get help. Get, get help. For, the, for the most part, there's a solution for every problem. Yeah. Yeah. Figure it the fuck out. And on that fucking note, I don't think there's anything left to be said. No, Figure it the fuck, fuck out. And stop being a victim. Bye. Period. Bye. I'm tired of people. <laughs> Bye. Shit.